We've done a lot of work on this document using the commands and options on two tabs, the Home tab and Insert tab. But what about the others? Well, let's look at a few. On the Design tab, you can change colors and themes. On the Page Layout tab, you can do things like adjust page margins and add columns. And on the View tab, you can change how you view the document. For example, you can select this checkbox to add the ruler. Take some time to explore the tabs. You can also click these little arrows along the bottom of the ribbon to open dialog boxes with even more options. But in this video, we're just going to add a few finishing touches to our document. First, let's add a header and footer. We do that on the Insert tab. It's pretty easy. Click Header, look through the gallery, and click the one you like. If you can't find the perfect header, you can always start with one and modify it any way you want. Let's choose Banded. Then replace this text with the title of the document. With the header selected, we get the Header and Footer Tools Design tab. Up here we can change the design of the header. In our document, we really don't need to see the header on the first page, so select Different First Page. Then click Close Header and Footer. Now the header we just added doesn't start until the second page. On the second page, click Footer. Let's insert Banded so the design is the same as the header. Now here's another way to close the header and footer. Just double click the document. Next, click the Page Layout tab. Before we print the document, let's check our page setup. Click Margins. By default, Normal is selected. If you had a lot of pictures and other objects on your page, you may prefer Narrow Margins or one of the other choices. In Orientation, you can change from the default Portrait Orientation to Landscape, which rotates the page 90 degrees. Click Size if you want to use a paper size other than the default 8.5 by 11 inches. Let's explore one last area, the Design tab. Check out the Theme Gallery. You can try a different theme to give your document a professional look with a consistent set of fonts and colors. And choose a document format to quickly apply a different look to your fonts and styles. You can create some very professional looking documents with Word 2013. By using things like templates, styles, and themes, you can create a great design quickly and easily. Where do you go next? Well, try exploring Word 2013 on your own. Remember, you can always click the Undo button. To dig even deeper into Word 2013 features, tools, and workflows, check out the links in the course summary.